Hi, what's going on everyone? We're over here in the Sheffield, Ohio. That's where we delivered last night and just stayed here. If you remember the other video at the end where I was debating where to park, but this is where I pulled in. I mean, you can still see my tire tracks. I mean, they're kind of covered up a little bit, but there's still these other trucks are sitting over here. And uh, yeah, they never even plowed this part of the parking lot. And you can see they plowed all this. It's like an entrance. I'm sitting on the entrance right now, or the exit. And this is, you know, the other side. But like, this is where I was going to park. And they didn't even plow any of that, man. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I didn't stay there. Because like, the, the where we delivered is just right right, be right behind us. And I, I just tuck, tuck next to the building. And they plowed over there. And we got out all right. But, now we gotta get back on the highway the big road they uh we just gotta go straight across 80 west to uh, white house ohio for a pickup kind of an open pickup 12 noon to, to 6 p.m what time is it now da -da -da -da. The sun's in my face nine o'clock so it's, you know it's, it's about an hour and a half <clears throat> we'll probably we're gonna be a little bit early that's all right so let's uh let's get rolling get started and see what these uh see what the big roads look like this morning all this snow oh there's a snow plow <laughs> there he is That's right where I was going to park. <clears throat> yeah, I looked away on the uh, Google Maps <clears throat> all the way to White House, Ohio, where we got to pick up. Google Maps says green the whole way, so yeah, if you can see, that's where I went to pull in over there, and it was just like, oh man, we're in trouble. <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're not doing this. We're leaving. Yeah, so the Google map says it's all green the whole way there. <clears throat> but around Cincinnati, Indianapolis, it's all in the orange still. There's still a little bit of snow like south of us. But I'm hoping by the time we get picked up, because it's all moving like northeast, so it's all gonna kinda go around. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. All right, looks like they did pretty good clearing these roads. There we go. The only thing I... Construction was reported on I-90. You are on the fastest route. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about... You know, well, here we go. If you can see in the mirror. You know, you know, I've been sitting since yesterday. You know, yesterday afternoon and all that snow. So now, when you... As soon as you start getting any... Any speed, that snow is just going to... Right off back to the trailer. As soon as I hit the interstate, it's gonna <laughs> just gonna fly off. Hopefully, there's not no ice up there, because like on the top of the truck, you know, like above the cab and everything, I was walking around this morning, checking, and uh, there was a little bit of ice up there. Nothing to go crazy about. But last night. Last night, the uh, the snowplow guy came like through the sands where we were at. And uh, you know, obviously he just plowed all around me. So I waited for him to go do his thing and be done. Then I went outside and kind of like brushed all the snow out from underneath the tires, in between the middle of the tires. Because you know it was already starting to drop temperature, 
and I didn't want all that snow that he just pushed underneath my tires, you know, turned to ice and you know, it probably would have been a little bit different situation this morning. We just pulled right out this morning and on the way we go. I-90 West, I don't know, I was going to say I-80, but I meant, you know, 90 to 80, this isn't the same thing really. Whatever. Turn left at the traffic light. Bus were empty, so we gotta hopefully. See, these roads don't look too bad, but I know once we got interstate, interstate would be looking a whole lot better. <laughs> I just want to see all that snow fly off the top of the trailer. <laughs> left a little bit early just in case if it's a, still a little bit of slow traffic through here old Freightliner man Freightliner classic XL man they just called and told me back up in the door three <clears throat> this guy pulls out and I you know, he's, he's a big old boy I was trying to help him and it looks like his uh well now he's gonna try to rock it again his brakes locked up on the uh on the driver's side of the trailer but the passenger side is fine and he pulled out and that's that's where he sits I got up underneath there and tried to help him out and banging on that thing I said I don't know man maybe you just need to just I mean you got it out this far man he was out further and he backed up some more now, I didn't want to be rude like dude I don't know maybe you just need to pull this he said he was he was gonna try to pull it you know and just make room for me <clears throat> so I don't need too much room I mean if you could just get up around the corner and I'll, I'll figure it out from there you know <clears throat> there's still enough room to turn around in here but he he ain't moving man so I don't know what the heck's going on If he ain't moving, then we're in trouble. <laughs> Unless they just had me go to another door. I don't know what's going on over here on the other sides, but I don't know. We will 